And I think it's important that we kind of look at this and remind ourselves it's a singing competition for local talent. A lot of these uh, contestants haven't performed on a stage in front of as many people before. And I was just wondering maybe if I can ask Jack Atlantic, who, as I mentioned earlier, is a current artist and sitting on the SA Top 40, uh, Top 10, sorry, at number 5. Jack, can you come up here and maybe give uh, some of these contestants a little bit of uh, insight into what to expect as they hit their fame going forward? Uh, Jack Atlantic, let's give him a hand, people. How's it, guys? So, uh, yeah, oh, what amazing singers this evening. I've been super impressed. I just want to give you some of my advice and what I've been through in my career, and hopefully it'll help some of you guys as well. Um, I remember 2016, I entered in The Voice, the first season of The Voice South Africa. And uh, I, I got through, made through the top 100, got through to see the, the judges, and nobody turned for me. Not a single person. I, I was obviously very nervous with the cameras and whatever. And uh, not a single, and a single judge turns for me. But anyway, fast forward from 2016, I, I always said it's perseverance. Um, I went in and I decided to start writing songs and writing music. And I went into the studio and I recorded an album. And uh, that album got me signed to a record label uh, with Just Music, the same record company that uh, Matthew Mole was signed to, Springbok Nude Girls, uh, Vonderboom, amongst others. And... Uh, I got signed to a record company, and that album was nominated for a SAMA Award for Best Adult Contemporary Album. Yeah, so what I'm trying to explain to you is that I was rejected on and, and, and a music competition on The Voice. No one turned for me, but then carried on, persevered, and I got signed to a record deal. I got a SAMA nomination, and I had, for that album, I had six number one hit singles on all major radio stations across the country, including Jacaranda... 947, uh, Mix FM, a whole bunch of stations. And right now, I'm a full-time musician. That's what I do for a living. And I perform. I obviously play covers as well. And I play my original music. But my point is, is, is if it's your passion and you love singing, don't let anyone stop you. Just It's perseverance. I've always said there's so many people that were more talented than me, uh, better singers than me, um, better guitarists than I was. But I persevered. And uh, it can happen. So if that's your passion, just carry on persevering. Keep improving yourself. Take criticism when it's, when it's, when it's given to you. Uh, not all criticism is, 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 is legitimate. But if someone says to you something, take that to heart. Try and improve on yourself. And you can make a career out of music. And you can make a living out of music. And you can have your songs featured on the top 40 and make number one hit singles, even if you are don't win the competition. So, uh, yeah, all the best of luck so to you guys. And just all the before, best. You, before you go, I just wanted to maybe ask a question. Jack, even though I know his real name, Jack. Um, did you ever do something like this um, to, prior to going on to The Voice? I did. So when I started, uh, at the age of 13, I decided, you know, music is what I want to do for a living. And um, people all talked me out of it. You're never going to make a living out of music. You're never going to make a career out of music. And I remember I, 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 I did woodwork in high school and I hated it and I failed it. And I think in a grade 11, I changed. I said, music's what I want to do. And I would change the music. And, uh, and I did it. And I just didn't give myself an option B. And I think that, that's, a, that's a secret to it. Is that if you want to do music and it's something you're passionate about, Put all your effort into it and don't give yourself an option B and just keep pushing it. Release your songs, even if you don't think they're the greatest. Put them out there and just keep improving, getting better and doing what you want to do. And I, d I did a lot of Battle of the Bands and things like that where we were rejected and we didn't, I didn't win. And like I said, you know, the voice, not a single judge turned for me. And, and a lot of people would give up on that. And I would say, is, is like, even if you don't win this competition, don't give up. Keep persevering. And, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I do music for full time for a living. And, and I've had multiple hits and, yeah. and, and things that, and I do this for a career. So it's not impossible. And it's not, yeah. uh, people always also have this mentality that musicians, either you are a, a busking musician playing on the street, getting a few coins in your, in your guitar case. Or you Ed Sheeran, 
and they don't realize that the music industry is a very, very diverse and, they, they, you know what I mean? You, you guys are making r more money than a lawyer is making playing music at, at pubs yeah. every at six nights a week. There's middle ground. Absolutely. There's middle so ground. Don't and then give up. Just sorry, another question. Did you, did you, were you always a solo performer or did you start with bands? Because a lot of these contestants, I don't think, are playing in bands. But is that something you would advise to get the experience? So I, I always recommend, I started with bands and finding other musicians. If you're a singer, you, you, you know, it's very difficult to go up on stage and just sing. If you want to make a career and you want to make money out of it, you need backing. So either start learning to play an instrument or find people that can play back you. So if you're a great singer, find a guitarist that can play guitar for you. Um, and you can get gigs and you can get paid for those gigs and you can as I say make more money than than most people with a degree can make and um, I run I run a music venue you don't get paid for gigs you know <laughs> that <laughs> no it depends what gigs you're doing um, and sure and so so for example I mean we've got Luke up here with his guitar he's playing an original and you know he could take any one of the contestants tonight to write some lyrics for that song if he does it himself or would you advise that there's collaboration as a as a single the music industry artist? is all about networking and it's about who you know and it's not about and a lot of again a lot of people are super talented but they don't have the right connections if you can if you're a great singer find that guitarist that you can work with write some songs record a song this day and age it's easy you can you can record a song at home with the technology we have and you can upload it to spotify and itunes and, sp and all over the place you don't need a big record label you don't need um a big budget and you don't need a, a big recording studio you can do things yourself and um and i say for myself as well i perform with the uh, the drummer of prime circle dale schnettler and i he, Paul knows, and uh, uh, the Mark Beeling, the uh, guitarist from Mean Mr. Mustard and singer, and those guys, I had them on my wall when I was growing up. I had a poster on my wall of, of Prime Circle and a, uh, the old U magazine. I don't know if you remember the old U magazines in the middle, you used to get like a poster. And I had a picture of, of, of Prime Circle and I had, a, had a, a poster of, when I was a teenager, of, of um, Mean Mr. Mustard. And now I'm actually performing with the guys. So it, it's, yeah. it's dreams do come true. And it's just say, don't let anyone stop you. Just persevere. And perseverance is the key. That's all. It's funny how different are we are. I had scope centerfolds on my <laughs> walls and you had... <laughs> anyway. All the best, guys. Good luck. And, uh, Jack good Atlantic, luck the everybody. Cheers, Some guys. great advice Thank from you. one of SA's top musicians. And... Uh, Jack, you're on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play. His album's being launched at a place called Studio 69 on the 30th of September. And um, currently Shipwrecked is number five. And you've got another one. Um, on Thunder is on Jacaranda, climbing the charts there. So contestants for you. Jack's here. Get his advice, but what you just heard is how it works.